I'm extremely pleased to be with you all here. UNICEF officials, members of the Executive Council, as well as selected stakeholders of the state to speak at this three days important workshop is meant to provide avenue for you provide input into the 10 year state strategic development plan for Zamfara State. This plan is not just a vision for the future, it is also a collective commitment to addressing the significant changes or challenges in the governance socio-economic development, security, and justice that have long hindered our progress as a state. I therefore welcome the UNICEF delegation to Zamfara State for this event, which will further make the draft plan a live document that reflects our aspirations of where we hope to be as well as how to get there so we can achieve development of our dear state. We must consider Zamfara State state economy which has always been predominantly agricultural. Unfortunately, however, over the years Banditry have made our farmers inaccessible, thereby breeding poverty, fear, and hopelessness among our people. It is important to further reflect on other challenges facing our state, especially in the areas of health, education, infrastructure and social welfare. We must acknowledge that there is still much work to be done to improve the lives of our people and create a better future for the generation to come. It is on this basis of this that we must develop a comprehensive security strategy in partnership with all stakeholders to get to the root of these problems as well as address them decisively. Our farmers deserve to work in their farms and pursue their social interactions in peace and in harmony. We must work and ensure we safeguard the lives and properties of everyone so that they can contribute to the prosperity of uh, dear state Zamfara. Zamfara state is blessed with abundant arable land as well as natural resources. However, our people can only benefit from these potentials if we plan effectively as well as stay committed to the implementation of a development plan. It is very clear since the creation of the state in 1996, we have not had a comprehensive development plan. Previous efforts have failed due to lack of political will. Today, I stand before you clear that this narrative will change for the better, inshallah. I'm equally glad to see such a high level turnout of policy makers as your input and expertise are crucial in shaping the future 
of our great state. This workshop, therefore, marks a significant milestone in our effort to chart a course of sustainable development and progress in Zamfara State. So, strategic development plan to be quite effective in terms of visioning, implementation and reporting for results. Your Excellency, there's need for us to have monitoring and evaluation framework that would help the key officers managing the program to be in a position to report on results, but also track on progress. And as UNICEF, we are ready to support the state government in terms of developing that framework. Within the framework of public finance for children, uh, Hamidu had already spoken about it. And it's one area that is dear to my heart because the success of any state depends on how well the children are taken care of from pre-unit to university level. And therefore, uh, the governor, Excellency the governor, again, will be supporting the states in terms of building the competitive strengths of the staff with respect to result-based budgeting and reporting, which would help you as a governor to understand where are the resources going, what are the key results we are achieving, and how am I turning around the lives of people in my state. So we'll support the state on that. <laughs> Alongside that, for the success of the strategic development plan, we'll also require an accountability framework that would commit the staff, the commissioner for budget and planning and respective uh, commissioners as well as staff in terms of their accountabilities and responsibilities and that can help all of us at the end of the year to measure progress but also identify areas that require improvement and we are ready to support the state in terms of developing accountability framework. I'm coming to the next point, which is uh, climate change. The success of the SDP, particularly for Zamfara, if you look at Zamfara, uh, a lot more of climate change resilience, reforestation, and natural biodiversity is required to bring the environment into a situation where we have very good livable condition. And that means a lot more of reforestation would be supported. And I have a colleague of mine from WASH. We've just gotten some few funds. And I'm sure, Ibru, we need to consider support in terms of reforestation for the state of Zamfara. <clears throat> Finally, I had already promised to the governor when I was here the other time that uh, social policy with a focus on greater sense of inclusivity and less exclusion area would be my focus in terms of increasing access to quality health care. So UNICEF is committing over 480 million Naira to support vulnerable women, children and women in their bearing age to receive free access to health care effective this week. <clears throat> 